so uh, I guess back on the topic where we were, is it the consensus that we attend their next or meeting in on the 21st under citizens' comments and present our resolutions and situation and request, specifically request to schedule a workshop? Is that the yes. of this board? I mean, I would still move forward by you guys and, you know, one of those offices, and what Chris here just mentioned, and just keep calling every lead we can. I mean, I, and I don't want to, I'm trying to put the car before the horse, but I just, I don't want us to sit here and spin our wheels if they're not really listening to us. I don't even want to put us on the agenda. That's concerning to me. That bothers me. It's one thing to come to our meetings and to put on a political mask and come out and do this and that. But we have a problem. We need to do this. And I know you guys are working hard on this. I just apologize for it, but just keep doing what you're doing. Use every resource we have. How many is that council? Seven. 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 Including the mayor, the elected mayor. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Seven that is correct. Member yes. I, I pulled up the website a couple of times and just got the names of all the council members, the mayor, and all their structure. The night I was there, one or two were absent. So I believe it's seven. But one or two were absent when I was there, so I didn't get a chance to speak to every person. Steve? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I just noticed that you have one, two Swanee Valley Transit Authority board members on this board, and they just got recently a brand new Mercedes bus. So there's a parking ride in Lake City, which is <laughs> equal distance for everybody. And that bus, the last I heard, was just for special events. It's kind of like a VIP bus. So you might be able to We'll work out something with Swanee Valley Transit to meet everybody at the park and ride on I-75 and US-90, and everybody could go up there. And former Commissioner Sessions had reached out to me in, in the past and says, if you guys get ready and you don't go in it as a group, I can make that happen for y'all, to transport everybody up there and, as a group. And if that needs to happen, one, you know, we'll be able to reach out. If that's okay. I, I don't know. You come in, but we had talked about it, but then we decided the best just to let the chairman and vice chairman go talk to him as well to the city about it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. My, my two cents on, on the idea of maybe just sending two or three people if you all went and each one of you said, I represent Dixie, I represent Bradford mm -hmm. County, I rep if you went for your three minutes, you would actually probably get close to a half hour. <laughs> Um, but but if you if you did that, that is a huge show of force um, that they would have to reckon with. To watch a a, a, repres a a an elected representative from each of these North Central Florida counties show up in that meeting, and each person says, even if you just say, I'm whoever from whatever county, and you know we need a workshop, and that that's it. It's not like you have to speak for the whole three minutes. I think that is huge. After everything we've been through in the last 10 years, why not? Are you going to do another two or three? I mean, I've, the dog and pony shows that have been going on with this are far too long. Yeah, if I might add. a lot of, lot of good, a good point. Strength in numbers? Yeah. yeah. They, can't, they can't deny you. I mean, I guess they could, but they were very kind to me. So, Mr. Chair, I personally like that idea yeah. because if I were sitting in one of our board meetings, and a group of people walked in to address the subject, it wouldn't automatically make me mad or, or turn me off or put me on the defensive if each person got up, like she said, and just professionally and briefly spoke for a minute about why you were there and sat down. And it does show them that we do have a group here who are concerned. It is more of a show of force. What turns me off more if just the two of us went with the right. wrong type of demeanor right. and got up there to speak, then that automatically turns people off. Right. But I think if they did see how many counties are being affected and how concerned we all are, I, I think that's a very good suggestion. Mm -hmm. So it was on March 21st. March 21st at 5.30.
And would it be appropriate, Scott? I mean, if, if we have a commissioner that's on this task force at 10 to 10, can they send a request to another board member for their county at 10? Yes, you could, because you're not having a meeting or taking the action. To speak with you. I'll speak for Gene. He's got a meeting on that night with his commission. <laughs> and I'll be presenting to him, so I won't be there either. But <laughs> he might have that issue. Um, as, as far as so Columbia meets third Thursday. I can say an access manager that you represent the board. Um, if, if Scott, can you kind of put, us, put it together for all of us as far as, I mean, I, it's easy enough for me to, I'm in Madison County, I can drive up there very easy, no problem, but uh, from, from other areas, you all might consider. It's important to you, it's important to us. Look at, um, but maybe get together and cool them maybe with, uh, sorry. Yeah. Anybody other than to say Columbia has a conflict, Dixie has a conflict. Uh, that might be a workshop for me, I'm not sure. Okay. Is it that's the third Thursday? The 21st. Yeah. Of yeah. March. Yeah. We have a meeting too. Okay. Uh, so those counties that do have meetings on the third Thursday, you could send a system I'll manager or San Francisco. Is that possible? Stand up San Francisco. I've got to rotate my board. And, and I would certainly think that if, you know, the, our spokesperson would speak and then introduce or allow everybody represented there to stand up and say who they are and who they represent, what county they represent. And I'm sure they would probably train us to the board in a three minute allotment. To, three minutes to, each is five. Yeah. 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 It might be kind of like the We all showed up over there the other day, the 20th and all. Uh, they agreed to let them talk as long as they wanted because they're probably way their time before we had about 30 or 40 on the list to talk. Yeah. Three minutes apiece. Yeah. Okay. That's something we'll just look at. Rick, one of the things I was mentioning to Brian was that if you have eight or nine people that are on camera, you could, you could identify one issue is the other is other issue is the requirements that our counties have to oblige to counties next door to them and that in Florida we have to do this and so very briefly talk to them about you know different aspects of what our expectation is in Florida and that's all we're asking upriver is for compliance with that. So use the time very briefly to educate them on all the different requirements that we have. But I never, I still, I still never want to lose the focus on what the problems are. Of course, being health and safety, environmental, you know, okay. and economic development. I mean, those four key things that, that, that these issues cause does. You know, one is public health, you know, for our public. You know, you know, and environmental, yeah, destroying our eco tourism, you know, and such as that. So, have another comment. I have some context on the Dot Austin City Council. Uh, when Mayor we spoke, the mayor wasn't there. The mayor pro tem was running the meeting. She was more congenial than what you will receive as a reception if you go when he is there. Uh, no offense, I know him. He's a fine fellow. Um, they will cut you off in three minutes. And as even the mayor pro tem said, they have a rule that if everybody's speaking on the same subject, they don't want only one person. So his idea is excellent. You could like, each have a different aspect of one of those four things. And if they did cut you off, that might be news, at least in a local newspaper. And if I know when you're coming, I'll be happy to alert the TV and everybody else. <laughs> March 21st. All right. All right. <laughs> and if we need to break it out into those four major components and uh, speaking points, then that's, that's what we'll do. And have each individual talk about it. So, anyway, uh, I hope it doesn't come to that type of environment, you know. I hope that it's going to be a cooperative environment, you know. And, uh, so, we'll go from there. Any other comments about uh, the meeting? And if you
you would, work with Scott on who will be going and if there needs to be any, any issues with travel arrangements. Yeah. That's one thing I was going to mention because Don and I are the ones on the Swan Valley Transit Board. So as Stu had said, there is that van that's available to counties to use if there's an interest, if you'll let Scott know, we'll be glad to talk in later sessions. I, I'm like Rick, it's, I'm back and forth to Belfast all the time, so I'm right there. But some of you would have a longer drive. Yeah, I would say if it can just be set up to let us know when and where, then we can go to the meeting and Yeah, it'll be here. Yeah, it'll be here. I said we can do that. We have yeah. it set up just, just to meet here. Yeah. And those in this area of the state can meet here. And uh, uh, Commissioner, are you welcome to come up to Madison County and get with me and we'll take a ride? <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a parking lot right across the street at yeah. the state building, there, so I don't know if they want you to use the parking lot. Okay. All right, uh, there was some discussion 